Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Go Review This laptop is portable, however, it is not a powerful machine and the screen is of very poor quality. The Samsung Chromebook Go stands out from other low-end laptops with its lightly textured matte black plastic finish across user-facing surfaces, demonstrating just how much difference some color or the lack of it, can make. That's a matter of preference. We very much like its streamlined look, especially when framed by the silver borders at the top and bottom. Depending on your preferences, this design could be considered stylish or it could emphasize the product's low price rather than trying to conceal it. The coloration does draw the eye, making it suitable for work, and even in low-light environments such as a dark room, the bright display can still illuminate the white key legend. The typing feel is pleasant, with some give to the keyboard base. It's a bit of a hit or miss win in terms of taste, but the large bezels could be an issue, the top edge houses a webcam, and the sides and bottom chin are overly bulky. On a UK layout model, the Samsung laptop has a squashed return key which is too small to be used instinctively while touch typing, and the backspace key below it is cut back. Additionally, it is teamed with a power key above, which takes away from the user experience. This may be standard for Chromebooks but this doesn't make it any less of an annoyance. The Samsung Chromebook Go has a classic and business-like design, with its grey edges and thin exterior that hides an expanded interior. The essentials appear to have been taken into account as this won't look too out of place as you draw it from your bag except for the gaudy Chromebook logo. This device is passively cooled, with no ventilation and a pair of down-firing speakers located underneath it. Despite being packed with heat dissipation tech, it is still lightweight enough to be carried easily. On the left side of a Chromebook, you'll find a wide range of ports, similar to that of the Galaxy Book Go. These include a Type-C port, an audio combo jack, and a micro SD reader. A Type-A port, another Type-C port compatible with DisplayPort Out, a Kensington lock niche, and a SIM slot. Apart from the lack of HDMI, there's not much to be upset about with Chromebooks. If you're looking for more than what a Chromebook has to offer, perhaps this isn't the best option for you. The Samsung Chromebook Go is a budget-friendly Chromebook, and it's not designed to offer abundant power. If you're looking for more power-packed options, there are plenty available. If you tread lightly, manage your expectations, and are careful with them, then maybe. But there are some risks involved. This laptop can handle multiple browser windows streaming media simultaneously with ease and is capable of comfortably running a Twitch Squad stream. Additionally, it opens work applications such as Google Suite or Office 365 tools quickly. Making it much better than its closest competitor the Samsung Galaxy Book Go, which is a far superior on the browser experience. Samsung Celeron processor feels more fluid, produces less noise, and provides an overall better experience than the ARM processor, causing even basic level laptops to become an astute selection. In fact, the benchmark performance between these two is astonishingly different, implying that it might have been wiser for the company to switch them around. Samsung boasts an impressive 12 hours of battery life, and during our test, we even managed to get close to that with a runtime of just under 11 hours and 20 minutes. Not unexpectedly, Intel's Celeron exists as a power-efficient processor, even when running at peak performance, thus eliminating excessive energy usage. After working with it for some time, the Galaxy Chromebook Go felt almost imperceptible in terms of the need for charging. This laptop's portability and long battery life have contributed to its great score you won't have any issues working, studying, or casually browsing with this Chromebook in a comfortable and convenient place. Beyond its cost-effectiveness, you may want to buy it just for its reliability.